Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we'd like to talk about the Prince of Herbs. Have you ever heard of that? The Prince of Herbs, that's ashwagandha. Most of us think of ashwagandha as a great remedy for stress, but it is useful for so much more. We'd like to talk about ashwagandha today, but first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Kids who hear of the benefits of healthy foods are more likely to eat healthy foods. Researchers from Washington State wanted to know, excuse me, Washington State University wanted to learn more about helping kids develop healthy eating habits. They enrolled 98 families with kids ages 3 to 6. They found repeated opportunities for kids to learn about the benefits of healthy foods without added pressure led to greater consumption of healthy foods. The study was published by the Journal of Nutrition, Education, and Behavior. Related research from the University of Zurich finds susceptibility to disease develops during childhood. The researchers found traumatized children who also develop multiple allergies are more likely to suffer from chronic inflammatory disease and psychiatric conditions during adulthood. The research followed over 5,000 subjects for 50 years. Can you imagine? The study was published by BMC Medicine. It is imperative with all the poor food choices available today, what with all the fast foods, processed and additive filled prepackaged foods available today, it's imperative that we continue to teach our children the vital importance of eating a healthy diet. Children are often picky eaters. Many will refuse to eat foods we adults consider tasty and know to be healthy. This is a common problem and it often leads to a lifetime of a restricted, unhealthy diet. Our first study finds if we continue to offer kids healthy foods with a gentle and simple explanation as to why the child should eat that food, the majority will eventually expand their diet to include a variety of healthy fruits and vegetables along with other healthy foods. Now this study used expressions like lentils will help you to run faster and jump higher or this orange will keep you from getting sick with a cold. And when these gentle reminders are offered repeatedly, it led to a doubling of healthy food consumption. And this is a good thing because our second study finds the seeds of adult disease, well, they're sown during childhood. And there have been many studies that show this, but our focus study today showed stressed and traumatized kids who also develop allergies, they're much more prone to inflammatory and psychiatric diseases later in life. Well, bottom line on this subject, every single day presents an opportunity to help a child better understand how to live a long and healthy life. The key is giving the advice with a loving tone. Mothers that eat nuts during the first trimester of pregnancy have children with better brain development. Researchers from the Barcelona Institute for Global Health evaluated 2,200 mother and child pairs. They assayed the mother's diet, and the children's mental capabilities at 18 months and at five and eight years. They found the mothers that included nuts in their diet had children with higher scores in cognitive function, attention capacity, and working memory. The study was published by the European Journal of Epidemiology. Related research from the Illinois Institute of Technology finds substituting an avocado for refined carbohydrates at mealtime helps to better control appetite and improve meal satisfaction in overweight and obese adults. The researchers found including a half or a whole avocado in place of bread or other starchy foods led to less hunger, lower insulin levels, and fewer fluctuations in blood glucose for six hours after the avocado-rich meal. This study was published by the journal Nutrients. Well, folks, both of our studies confirm the health benefits of eating healthy, oil-rich foods. First, we learned mothers that consume at least 30 grams of nuts twice a week during the first trimester of pregnancy have smarter kids with stronger cognitive abilities, better attention, and working memory. Now, it's interesting to note eating nuts throughout pregnancy helps baby, but eating nuts during the critical organ-forming time of the first trimester paid the most dividends. This timing pattern also holds true for the benefits of supplemental vitamins during pregnancy. The first trimester is the most critical time. The nuts featured in this study include walnuts, almonds, peanuts, pine nuts, and hazelnuts, but virtually every nut and seed tested in studies like this one provide benefits from cradle to grave. Nuts are a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids, B vitamins and minerals, especially magnesium.
We also learned from our second study, oil-rich avocados help to create dietary satisfaction, calm hunger, and control insulin response and blood glucose fluctuations for six hours after a meal. The take-home message on this line of thinking is replace some starch and sugar calories in each meal with healthy oil-rich foods like salmon, nuts, avocados, and olive oil. And over time, you will find extensive health benefits. Less sugar and starch, more healthy oils. It's not hard, and the practice is worth the effort and the expense. Well, today on Your Health, we will discuss the remarkable herb ashwagandha. Stay tuned to learn more. Do you believe that nature holds the answer to your health needs? Are you looking for a supplement that's simple and pure, yet really works? If you're looking for nature's answer to better health, look to Aloha Noni Juice. It's pure and fresh, just like nature intended. Aloha Noni Juice is brought to you direct from the islands of Polynesia. Aloha Noni Juice is 100% pure with no added sugar or sweet fruit fillers. It's the perfect addition to your low sugar diet. Aloha Noni Juice drinkers will tell you their vitality, energy, and sense of well-being have improved, along with relief from many painful conditions. Made by nature, proven by science, Aloha Noni Juice contains only nature's best. And now you can enjoy the benefits of our new 100% certified organic Noni Juice. Order online or call 888-442-1828 and let BioInnovations assist you in making the right choices to better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker, and this is Your Health at a Glance. Heavy metal poisoning is a growing concern, and it may play a role in your health. It can happen through occupational exposure or environmental pollution or both. If you work in a metal shop, a smelting plant, or any type of facility that uses electroplating or welding, you may be suffering from heavy metal exposure. But those of us who live in cities may suffer from heavy metal exposure through environmental pollution. It's the number one cause of heavy metal poisoning. It can occur over a long period of exposure or it can happen after a single dose. Symptoms can be overlooked because they're symptoms of common diseases such as fatigue, memory loss, tremor, joint pain, and indigestion. These are common symptoms of heavy metal poisoning. If your health is declining and you haven't been able to figure out the underlying cause, discuss heavy metal poisoning with your doctor. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients astragalus root extract. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-1828 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-1828. Call today. Welcome back, everyone. Today we have a great show planned for you. We're going to be talking about quite an interesting herb. This one is known as an adaptogen. This is Richard's going to teach you all about it. You're going to want to know. This one is called ashwagandha. Richard, that's an unusual word. It is. Ashwagandha. Kind of rolls off the tongue. Withania somnifera is the Latin name for this. This is from Ayurveda, or the India way of treating disease. This is uh, an amazing substance. It's a daily tonic for our everyday problems. It is used frequently for chronic stress and anxiety. It has been described as a treasure of nature, as the prince of herbs, the king of Ayurveda. Those are some pretty call, uh, tall names to, to call something, the, the king of Ayurveda and the prince of herbs. It, it is among the most important herbs of Ayurveda. They have six basic herbs that they use a lot 
in their treatment of disease and health conditions. And <clears throat> ashwagandha is one of those six, and it's considered the most important of all of them. It is a daily tonic. It is used as a rasayana. This is a daily tonic, and they describe that as a tonic that promotes a youthful state of physical and mental health while it expands happiness. Isn't that fascinating? Expanding happiness with a daily tonic. I like that idea because really to be in a full state of happiness, don't you need some pretty good health to do that and good energy to have the ability to be in a, an expanded state of happiness? I love that idea. Rasayana herbs, which ashwagandha is one of, are primarily adaptogens and anti-stress agents. And ashwagandha is considered the most important of the Rasayana herbs. Now, this whole Ayurveda may be somewhat foreign to us, but you may have more experience with it than you realize. Um, turmeric is also a very important herb, and we, we call the turmeric curcumin because it's the active ingredient extract from turmeric that has such brain benefits and anti-cancer. This is on equal footing. Ashwagandha is on equal footing in importance as the turmeric. So this begs our attention. Please stay tuned with this program because you will learn about one of the most important herbs in the world, ashwagandha. Now, all parts of the plant are used, and it is really a unique and beautiful plant. Uh, all parts of the plant are, are used, but the root is the prized part, and it is dried and ground to a powder and used topically and orally systemically for its benefit. At least 95 different medicinal concoctions are made in India with ashwagandha as a base component. Now, I don't mean there are 95 companies that sell it in India. I don't mean that. There are 95 different formulas that include ashwagandha for a wide variety of health conditions. And what this tells us, it tells us how important it is, how it helps the body accommodate and adapt to various health conditions, but also tells you how easily it can be included in other protocols to receive a benefit. It adapts well with other agents. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's do an overview, ashwagandha overview. Anti-stress and anti-anxiety. This is the number one use of ashwagandha, but that is not the only use by any stretch. And I, I want to help you understand how important it is to deal with stress. 30% of all Americans say they are under extreme stress and it's affecting their quality of life, 30%. And you know, if you're stopped at a red light and you're late for an appointment, that's stressful. But I'm really talking about day in, day out, hard to meet your bills, hard to keep up with the pace of life, and how this wears on you. Stress, chronic stress, can be a deadly condition. It sensitizes the cardiovascular tree, it numbs the brain, it affects how we eat, how we rest, it leads to the overconsumption of alcohol and drugs of abuse, it leads to fights. I mean, you, you know what stress can do. And to have an agent that helps to calm that stress response without being dependency forming, with no inebriation, no stupor, no hangover effect, and yet it is highly effective for stress, that is a remarkable herb and worth our attention. But it does so much more, ashwagandha. What else? It is an adaptogen and has anti-aging properties. Stress-induced depression and insomnia when stress is relentless, it affects our sleep and it leads to depression. And when we're in a depressed state of mind, it's a feeling like nothing will help me. No matter what we do, nothing helps. And honey, can you imagine how desperate that feeling is when you feel nothing will help? Well, we need to break that cycle. And ashwagandha is an agent that will help us with that. But it's also neuroprotective, protects the brain, neuroregenerative it can actually trigger the response in brain tissue to renew and regenerate cells, which is a remarkable property. 
and it has a reputation of being extremely helpful in neurodegenerative diseases. This is such as Alzheimer's disease and the various forms of dementia, Parkinson's disease, ALS. These are terrible diseases and they're considered incurable. As you read research on ashwagandha, they state in their research that you can actually stop and even reverse neurodegenerative conditions with ashwagandha. That is a very bold claim, but they back it up with good research. What else? Anti-tumor, used for as a cancer adjuvant and a supplement to cancer treatment. Anti-arthritic, it helps with pain and inflammation. It is an analgesic, it is an antipyritic, it helps for fever, inflammation, and pain. These are all good things. We need alternative to drugs for these problems. It is a powerful antioxidant. It is cardioprotective. It lowers cholesterol. It helps to build the blood. It actually will turn on the mechanisms to build your blood to a stronger state. It will help with anemia. Anemia, isn't that remarkable? And it is a strong antimicrobial, antibacterial, antivirus, antifungal, and antiparasite. It improves cell mediated and humoral immunity responses. So it boosts the immune response. Isn't that remarkable what all it does? Now, that is not based on folklore. That is based on good science. That's the summary of all the science we're going to talk about today. Ashwagandha owes its remarkable therapeutic potential due to its complex chemical nature. This is one of those plants that is astounding in the diversity of its molecules. It contains steroidal alkaloids and steroidal lactones. And of course, you don't need to know that to benefit from the use of ashwagandha. 35 different withanaloids, 12 alkaloids. These are complex molecules that resemble steroidal hormones. Now, plants do not make cholesterol. Our hormones are based on, our steroidal-based sex hormones are based on cholesterol. And so any hormone-like agent a plant would produce is not exactly the same as ours. But that is a good thing. What it does is these mimicking hormones and mimicking neurotransmitter compounds, they will occupy a receptor for your normal hormone, for your normal neurotransmitter, and either block excessive stimulation if you have too much hormone, or partially, partially activate it. We call that a modulatory effect. And what this means is if you have too much going on, it calms it down. If you don't have enough, it brings it up. And the scientists have explained exactly how it happens. And ashwagandha has been used for some 4,000 years of safe use. In India, it is used from cradle to grave. Infants, pregnant mothers, children, midlife, late life, all the way through. 4,000 years of safe use. If it had true hormones in it, that wouldn't be so. We couldn't use it in that way. But this is the magic. Really, it's, it's just magical, the magic of chemistry. It's a remarkable thing. Well, let's go to our break. And when we return, let's talk about the putative use of ashwagandha. And I'll even define that term when we return. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bionovations.net or call 888-442-1828 and ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings.
Dr. Richard Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Do you suffer from cramps, gas, bloating, or other digestive troubles? How about fatigue, depression, and headaches? All these symptoms could be caused by a condition called lactose intolerance. Your body doesn't digest lactose, the sugar found in milk and other dairy products. As a result, you can suffer from a wide variety of symptoms. If you often experience digestive problems, fatigue, depression, or headaches following meals, try avoiding dairy for a week or two and see if your symptoms lessen or go away. All of the nutrients found in dairy, including calcium, are present in sufficient amounts in other foods. So if you find that you are lactose intolerant, you can safely avoid dairy and still enjoy complete nutrition. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-1828 or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back talking about the amazing Ayurvedic herb ashwagandha. So Richard, what exactly is putative use? Well, that means use from a historical perspective, use by reputation. Mm -hmm. It is not including the scientific method, you know, double blind studies, but you know, I, I always uh, I'm remind myself that humans have been smart for a long time and humans have suffered from disease for a long time and there's nothing more motivating than when you have a loved one who is suffering. And over thousands of years, some 4,000 years of recorded use, uh, the physicians of the time paid close attention to what helped people. It was in their own interest, everyone's interest, to use the good stuff and ashwagandha became one of that, those known agents. Now here's what, the, the, uh, in the Indian culture, how they've used ashwagandha for these many, many centuries. As a daily tonic, as an analgesic, as a diuretic, a very effective diuretic, I must add, that does not have the propensity to deplete your electrolytes. Now we have drugs that will get rid of that fluid, but it also gets rid of your magnesium, your potassium, and your sodium, all of which we must have. So there's a price to pay for drug diuretics. Not so with ashwagandha. It helps to control those fluid levels without those complications. And astringent when used topically. Recovery from emaciation, especially when head trauma is involved. Head trauma. You know, closed head trauma, I'm thinking of veterans returning from Iraq and Afghanistan exposed to explosions and this traumatic brain injury. I wish our Department of Defense would include ashwagandha because this is one of the absolute best uses for ashwagandha, helping people overcome closed head trauma. Remember that, please. Promotion of hormonal action. We talked about that, modulation of hormone action. An attention booster because it has neurotransmitter-like activities. A debility from rheumatism and old age. To preserve mental abilities. Useful in insomnia, constipation, nervous breakdown and anxiety, goiter and thyroid conditions, and as a natural antibiotic. It can be ground, the root can be ground into a paste and applied topically as an antibiotic or taken systemically for systemic effects. Now the very word ashwagandha means the smell of a horse. When you open the bottle of ashwagandha, you go, 
You know, that kind of does resemble the smell of a horse. And horse people love that smell of the horse because they associate that with the good times of riding and uh, the success of training a horse and all this. But when you open it, give it a little smell and you go, you know, that kind of does remind me of the smell of a horse. And the word ashwagandha is morphed into meaning the power of a horse, the strength and power and stamina of a horse. If you could remember that as you try to categorize all our herbal therapies, ashwagandha provide the stamina and the power of a horse. Help me deal with stress so I can keep going and do what I need to do for the success of my family. You'll cover a lot of the actions of ashwagandha. Now let's talk a little bit about the scientific evidence the modern methods of discerning what is useful and what is not. Stress and anxiety, we're gonna spend a little time on this because it is a great natural alternative to dependency forming anxietolytics. I'm talking about the Valium class. You know what I'm talking about. All right, ashwagandha reduces stress by 57% versus psychotherapy 31%. So it's more effective than talking about is what's causing your stress. Perceived stress, 44% reduction versus 6%. At least 12 studies, more if you go into, uh, go back many years. At least 12 studies, many of these double-blind placebo-controlled showed remarkable anti-stress properties. Reduced scores on all stress assessments, scales with decreased cortisol levels. When you're under chronic stress, your cortisol levels go up, and this causes profound changes throughout your body. Over time, the cortisol drops because you've worn out your adrenal glands. Then you have a whole new set of problems. Ashwagandha maintains normal cortisol levels. If it's low, it brings it up, and if it's too high, it brings it to normal. Remember, it's a modulator of hormonal levels with no side effects, no side effects. Normalization of cortisol levels with no side effects. Increased stamina, increased endurance, increased physical performance in both sedentary people and athletic people. And they've been able to prove that ashwagandha increases the glycogen content of your heart. This is the energy source for prolonged physical activity. Glycogen is enhanced in your cardiovascular tree, allowing for better stamina. Isn't that remarkable? You know, there are all kinds of stresses. There's physical stresses, emotional stresses, there are medication stresses, and on and on. Think about all the various forms. It's kind of interesting to think about. It is so effective it doubles swim time in animal stress studies. Now, I am not in favor of torturing animals, but stress is such a problem for the human race that we need better treatments for it. And if you take a laboratory animal and put him in a pool of water where he cannot get out and measure how long before he gives up. Now, you retrieve that animal. He doesn't die from this, but he gives up. Eventually, he will give up. If you dose this animal with ashwagandha, it doubles the time he can stay up. That's amazing. Don't you think that's amazing? And they've been able to explain how it works. Wow. That's some pretty advanced science, if you ask me. Let's see, what else? Double swim time, stress-induced depression. It helps with that, and they know how. It's through GABA signaling. And prevention. Stress-induced ulcers and liver toxicity. It is a great complement to milk thistle. Ashwagandha and milk thistle go together. Remember how we combine ashwagandha with so many things. Reduce mortality from stress-induced death in laboratory animals. Improves corticosteroid response to stress. Improves immune function during after stress. Improves uh, also a, a useful in addition in disease made worse by stress. So any of your health conditions that, you know, high blood pressure, diabetes, when you're under stress, the arthritis hurts worse. And it definitely has an effect on cancer survivability when you're under chronic stress and premature aging. It is truly the antidote for modern living. Ashwagandha. I said it's just amazing. I find it amazing. Uh, 20 healthy males. Now these are healthy males, double-blind, placebo-controlled, crossover study, ashwagandha improved reaction times, choice discrimination, 
I don't have time to go into what all this means, but I think you get the drift. Digit symbol substitution, you know, is it a standard three or is it a Roman numeral three? Well, you can get that very complicated. And if you take ashwagandha, you can identify all these various ways to represent three, 13, 50, whatever. You can recognize it faster, so you respond better. See, that's a stressful situation. Imagine an air traffic controller. Things are hopping. Ashwagandha, because it doesn't affect his mentation, would be an excellent remedy for the stress of an air traffic controller. That's the type of thing I want to get across to you. Now, let's go off to our break here. But when we return, ashwagandha goes way beyond just stress. And I want to teach you about that when we return. Have you heard about the health-promoting power of medicinal mushrooms? These remarkable mushrooms include mayatake, shiitake, reishi, and ABM. The medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Mushroom Complex with mayatake, shiitake, reishi, and ABM in one convenient product. Our mushroom complex features the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, providing natural support for a variety of health conditions. Bioinnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-1828 or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Do you have a family history of a certain disease? Scientists are discovering that our genetic code plays a smaller role than previously believed. Only about 20% of disease is tied to our innate genetic code. So what determines the other 80%? The answer may lie in the emerging field of epigenetics. What is it? Epigenetics is a group of changing factors responsible for both how our genes are read and how they are then applied throughout the rest of the body. And this may explain why identical twins with identical genes can have different health problems. Researchers believe two of the main factors in epigenetics are nutrition and environmental exposure to toxins. So eat a healthy diet, reduce toxin exposure, and you may improve your own epigenetics. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. There are thousands of fungal species, and at least 200 of them have been found to cause human diseases. Fungal infections are common, so what can we do to protect ourselves? One solution is oregano, a natural alternative. Oregano fights problems created by fungus and yeast overgrowth, and it improves many other health conditions. At BioInnovations, we offer oregano in gel caps and liquid extract. Yeast and fungal disorders can improve. So take charge of your health by choosing a natural alternative such as oregano gel caps or oil of oregano liquid extract. Give us a call at 888-442-1828 or go online at bioinnovations.net. Check out our auto ship program for additional savings. We're back, everyone, learning about the Ayurvedic herb ashwagandha to help you get this in your plan because you really want to try this one out today. We have a great buy one, get one where you buy one bottle of ashwagandha at the regular price. You get a second bottle free, a great way to try out something new. So, Richard, we're going through all of the science yes. and we were just finishing up on stress. On stress. You know, many times people will take an ibuprofen with their stress headache and get relief, and then after a few days of doing that, oh, my stomach, all that ibuprofen is bothering my stomach. Well, ashwagandha helps with stress-induced ulcers uh, with aspirin and aspirin-like therapies, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. It helps to, to protect the stomach helps to protect the stomach. It normalizes weight in chronically stressed lab animals. It helps with the overeating associated with stress. You know, stress eaters, are you a stress eater? Many people are. It helps to control that appetite. 
the anxietolytic actions of ashwagandha, meaning how well it works for stress, is equal to lorazepam or Ativan, which is a, a Valium-like drug uh, that is very effective for stress, but it's dependency forming. It's dependency, for, but not ashwagandha. It is equal to lorazepam. Without the stupor, without dependency, three standard anti-anxiety protocols, this has all been documented with good modern science. Its action has been identified through ty tribulin, tribulin, and it lowers cortisol, and uh, we talked about that. Now, evidence-based reduces food cravings, antidepressant action. You know, I'm talking about the stress that eventually ends in depression. This is very common to see this. And you know, one of my complaints about modern medicine is that they treat the symptom. They're not treating the underlying cause. So if we're waiting till the anxiety is to the point of depression and we just give antidepressants, how effective you really think that's gonna be? And it's not, the studies show it. You can take a walk and be as effective as the antidepressants that we're all told we need to take. And one out of 10, every one out of 10 Americans is on a neuroactive drug of this type in today's world. Well, let's focus on things that actually help to correct the basic underlying aberration of the physiology, and that's the chronic stress-induced depression. Ashwagandha helps to do that. And it's equal to imipramine or tofranil in its antidepressant activity. Uh, there are other psychotherapeutic uh, benefits, low dose, just 120 milligrams a day, reduce the symptoms of obsessive compulsive disorder. You know, the chronic uh, repetitive checking, counting, all the various things of obsessive compulsive. Now, I'm not saying it cures it, but if it helps to manage it, even at a low dose like it is, th that is, that is a wonderful thing to help folks without the side effects of these powerful uh, psychoactive drugs. It's a real benefit, and you can combine it with medicines. We'll get to that part in a little bit. Double-blind, placebo-controlled bipolar depression. This is a real problem. Ashwagandha improves auditory, verbal working memory, reaction time, and social cognition. You're more appropriate in a social setting, which can be a real problem with obsessive-compulsive disorder. Reduces schizophrenia-associated depression. That's the double-blind. Now. Neuroprotective, Neuro protecting the brain and the nervous system. Now, before we get into this part, I want to be, you to be aware that in India, the Alzheimer's disease rates are about one-fourth of what they are in Western civilization. There are many reasons for this. It's not just ashwagandha. Another reason is curcumin and turmeric. Another reason is their primarily plant-based diet. And of course, they have genetic variations. All of these play a role. But I assure you, part of the reason why they have such low neurodegenerative diseases and Alzheimer's disease rates is due to ashwagandha. It is their primary daily tonic throughout all of life, all stages of life. Head trauma improves cognitive and memory in children after head trauma and prolonged illness. I'm reminded of uh, chronic encephalopathy of the boxer or the professional football player who engages in repetitive head traumas. This leads to a neurodegenerative disease. Perhaps we could help football players with ashwagandha. I'd love to see a study on that because it's getting a lot of attention. I think it would help them in the historical use and the preliminary research says it will. Something to think about. Neuroregenerative properties, stroke, head trauma and memory deficits, reverses dendritic and synaptic loss. These are good studies that show this. So if we catch the neurodegenerative disease early, you can actually reverse it. You know, there's always a point of no return in all diseases, whether it's liver disease, neurodegenerative diseases, heart disease, you name it, there's a point where we can't pull cancers this very much this way. Once it's spread all over the body, we don't have good therapies no matter how you choose to treat it. So being attentive to these things and intervening early is when you do this, not when there's very little hope. Age-related memory loss improves memory, improves loss of, a, uh, loss of memory due to aging by inhibiting acetylcholinesterase activity. Uh, this all makes sense if you've studied these uh, diseases. Neuro 
degenerative disease. Dozens of animal studies, test tube and human studies confirm ashwagandha slows, stops, and even reverses nervous system decay. I know this is a very bold statement because we have generally been convinced that Alzheimer's disease is irreversible. There's a huge bank of knowledge that says that's not necessarily so. Again, there is a point of no return. I have to emphasize that. But early awareness, early intervention, and there are dozens and dozens of case studies in our current literature right now that support that notion. We get in there and get to work with these holistic uh, principles, we can turn things around for a lot of people. Let's see, we have several others, and I want you to hear about these because this is new to so many people, so we'll pick up on this in just a moment after these important messages. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package. We call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Give us a call at 888-442-1828 or go online at bioinnovations.net. During this holiday season, think of the words of the English writer G.K. Chesterton who said, when it comes to life, the critical thing is whether you take things for granted or take them with gratitude. No matter the size of our problem, Jesus cares. The Apostle Paul gave the Philippian church this advice in Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Have you heard of Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy? This remarkable mushroom also supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and lungs. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients, Cordyceps sinensis. Medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. And Cordyceps sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available today, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-1828. That's 888-442-1828. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone. Just want to give you a quick reminder on that special today on ashwagandha. This is amazing. Buy one bottle at the regular price, you get a second bottle free. What a way to try something new. So, Richard, we're going through all of all of this research. It's amazing. It really is. It, and every you keep bringing up different, completely off opposite yeah. end things, and they're just great. It goes way beyond distress. Yeah. It, yeah. it really does. How about attention deficit hyperactivity? Improves attention cognition and impulse control, it's a good alternative to Ritalin and Silert and these types of drugs. And children can take ashwagandha. 
See if they can take it. Isn't that cool? I love that. Cancer, multiple lab, animal, and human studies show a true role for ashwagandha in cancer treatment and prevention. And specifically, uh, ovarian, prostate, lung, and others, of course. Uh, even if it is not a, a strong anti-cancer agent, it helps your body deal with the side effects of cancer therapy. And since it's so well tolerated and easy to combine with other therapies, it's a good thing to add. Now, reduces metastasis, reduces tumor size, and reduces uh, the chemotherapy immune suppression. You know, this is why we have to stop therapy so many times that the side effects are prohibitive. The treatment can kill the patient just like the cancer can. Taking agents that minimize chemotherapy and radiation side effects so that you can maximize your benefit from therapy, that is a very smart thing to do. Very smart thing to do. Change gears, uterine fibroids. How many women in this country have a hysterectomy because of uterine fibroids and heavy menstrual uh, flow? Well, we have good evidence that ashwagandha, remember that's a hormone-related phenomenon, uterine fibroids reduces growth and dysfunctional bleeding. With time, it may even cause the fibroids to digress. And if you combine that with the healthy balance, which is, includes clover isoflavones, methane with sulforaphane, flaxseed and wild yam with ashwagandha, if you have time, if the flow is not so heavy that you are profoundly anemic, so you do have time to work with this, you have a real chance of digressing, regressing these tumors back to a manageable place. Give it a try. You know, many of us are very afraid of surgery. And you'll say, I will do anything to avoid the surgery. And sometimes it's imperative we don't have surgery because it's risky to our other health conditions. Think about these alternatives. You may be able to avoid the surgery. Not for everyone, of course. But if more did, we wouldn't have to do as many hysterectomies. Diabetes improves measures of glucose control. It helps with the endothelial dysfunction, the blood pressure control. It helps with the oxidative stress, and it works as well in managing diabetes as well as the most commonly used diabetic drug, ashwagandha. If you need a specialist in diabetes, who do you go to? An endocrinologist, right? Well, anything hormonal, think ashwagandha. Is it sinking in? See, I want you to help you remember little keys so you know how to use these therapies. Subclinical hypothyroidism, or, you know, there's so many who are on that, I think I'm hypothyroid, but the tests are okay. Doctor doesn't want to treat it, but I don't feel right. I know something's on here. Ashwagandha, ashwagandha. Add a little royal jelly to it. Most of our thyroid disease is due to autoimmune. And the combination of ashwagandha and royal jelly will decrease those antibodies that are destroying your gland. And maybe we, you'll never have to take the Synthroid. Just maybe, just maybe. This is how they manage it in India. It's a very successful culture. We should learn from them as much as we can. They learn from us, why can't we learn from them? I think that's a good idea. Anti-inflammatory, anti-arthritis, works through unique neurotransmitter modulation in the reduction of C-reactive protein, that's a measure of inflammation, and the prostaglandin system. That's your COX inhibiting. It calms inflammation by a variety of mechanisms without the side effects and uh, very effective. And this has all been confirmed in double-blind placebo-controlled studies. Helps with the inflammation of arthritis. And you know when you're in pain, you're stressed too. So not only do you get the relief of pain, it helps with the stress. I can deal with this. I'm okay. Today's a better day than yesterday. Gives me hope. That's what I'm looking for. We can't cure everything, but we can help almost everything. We really, we can. We really, we can. Anti-aging, get this, this is amazing. 101 men, ages 50 to 59, they took three grams a day of ashwagandha. And they did it for one year. At the end of that one year, it increased their blood strength. Their hemoglobin levels went up a little bit, which is a good thing. It increased the number of red blood cells, more oxygen to the tissues, that's a good thing. It even improved their health, hair color, less gray. Who would think? Less gray. It did. It improved their seated posture. You know, you need core strength to sit properly. 
and over time it helps to preserve the integrity of your spine. That's a good thing. Improved seated posture, reduced cholesterol, and it reduced this, the uh, inflammation throughout their body, and they proved that with chemical tests, and it improved their libido by 70%. Win, 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 win. It's all good. These are healthy, what would be considered healthy men at 50 to 59, wanting to preserve their youth, and they did it with ashwagandha, and it works. Antimicrobial, good for gram-positive, acid fast, which are some of the toughest germs to treat, aerobic bacilli, pathogenic fungi, and it had antiviral and antiparasitic properties, and there's a whole bank of knowledge we don't have time to talk about. The researchers in one study said, this works better than penicillin. Ashwagandha, who knew? It's an antibiotic too. Hemopoietic blood builder, we talked about that, improves red blood cell, white blood cell, immune modulation, cell mediated and humoral, both. Both improve, isn't this amazing? And it's a powerful antioxidant. Let's do this, let's go after a break. When we return, let's talk about how to take ashwagandha for maximum benefit. We'll be right back. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioInnovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. So call 888-442-1828 or go online at bioinnovations.net to place your order. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. High cholesterol raises your risk for cardiovascular disease, but it's just one risk factor among many. And the need to lower your cholesterol can be over-exaggerated. Everywhere in the media, we see advertisements for cholesterol-lowering prescription drugs. It's a big business. Now, cardiovascular disease kills more Americans than any other disease, so we need to pay attention to all the risk factors for heart disease. Here's a prevention strategy. Besides lowering your cholesterol, treat high blood pressure. Stop all tobacco, manage diabetes, exercise regularly to stay fit, avoid sugar, eat fish and fresh fruits and vegetables. Take your daily vitamin and use omega-3 oils. Address all your risk factors, not just your cholesterol. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Different people have different vitamin and mineral needs. That's why Dr. Becker's Bionutrients multiple vitamin and mineral powders come in four different blends. That's right, when it comes to vitamins, no one formula is right for everyone. For those who don't get enough vegetables in their diet, there's the Organic Green Blend with three servings of vegetables in every tablespoon. And for those looking for a boost of fruit and berry phytonutrients, there's the Berry Blend with three servings of fruit in every tablespoon. And don't forget the Active Adult Blend with extra B vitamins, calcium, and added cofactors like ginkgo and CoQ10. Plus, we've designed a multiple for those with allergies called the Low Allergy Rice Blend. Whatever your unique needs are, BioNutrients has a multiple vitamin that's just right for you. Give us a call at 888-442-1828 or order online at bioinnovations.net. Your health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back, so we have the Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Ashwagandha. Buy one, get one free today. You can't miss this one. Buy one at the regular price, you get a second bottle free. Okay, Richard, time is short. How do we supplement with this? Well, it's easy to do. You can take it uh, once or twice a day, and you can take it for long periods of time or for short periods of time, depending on your need. 
It is known for low toxicity and side effects. Animal studies show as much as 200 grams a day. Then that's an animal study to assess toxicity. Toxicology studies, we call it. 200 grams a day with no toxicity, no mutagenesis, no sign of it develops into cancer, any weird things. Uh, passing all of these toxicology studies. Human studies, 10 grams a day for prolonged periods of time, and very few of you will ever need 10 grams a day. 10 grams a day for prolonged periods of time with no toxicity. And the test of time, 3,000, 4,000 years of use, that tells us so much more than any one lab test. A culture figures out when something works and when it doesn't. I don't care what anybody says. You stick with things that work and you abandon things that are a waste of time. It's just how life is, isn't it? Uh, there are some cautions. A theoretical precaution based on some science, not from actual experience, that it could affect immune suppressant drugs. It's so affecting and br effective in bringing up the immune system. If you've had a organ donation, a transplant, and they're suppressing your immune response so you keep that organ, you may not want to build up your immune system's response. That just makes sense. It may potentiate sedatives, hypnotic sleeping pills, alcohol, and drugs of abuse because it calms us. It's good for stress. So you, you wouldn't want to use drugs of abuse, this, and drink alcohol. Well, you're asking for trouble. Do I really need to tell you that? Well, you've been told. Don't mix it with things like sedatives, hypnotics, drugs, and alcohol. It's not a good idea. Uh, monoamine oxidase inhibitors, this is a type of antidepressant. It may cause a problem with that. Your doctor has told you if you're on a monoamine oxidase, don't do da, 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 da. pay attention to your doctor. But that's not that many of us. It's a few of us, but not that many. Stop at least one week before surgery, and it can interact with blood uh, clot inhibitors. And uh, folks, uh, you know, if you're on warfarin or any of these drugs that are designed to prevent clots, you have to do exactly what your doctor says. And as we always say, you can add things like ashwagandha, but you must be willing to do blood tests to find out if you reduce your blood thinner. So discuss that with your doctor if you want to consider ashwagandha with a blood thinner. Now, our preparation of ashwagandha has been studied. It's a very unique extraction method. It is standardized, and the efficacy has been proven in studies. That is always helpful to have that. Uh, one capsule once a day is your low dose. Typical dose is one to two capsules up to two to three times a day. If you're doing a daily tonic, one a day. If you're really working with something and you want a, a strong effect, you can increase that. Remember, you can go up to 10 grams a day, but very few of you will need that much. So the typical dose is from one to four or five capsules a day. And I think you'll find if you just take one and give it a little time, it's going to work really well. So you name the problem of modern living, ashwagandha may be of help to you. And I find this substance amazing, and I get such joy and reward from helping you to learn about all of God's gifts. Thank you for your kind attention. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Your Health. Bye-bye. Everybody has a visor in their car, but a visor in the wrong place can actually make it harder to see. Nick Bolton here with the latest from Bell & Howe.